one of the rewards that uh, that I've I really have had is that I've seen the people grow in spirit, grow in faith. Um, the folks are stepping out of the church now uh, to do mission work, even though they've had s some mission work. We've grown to about 15 to 20 different mission works that they do, albeit they're not large, but they do perform them. And now we're stepping out of the church and moving into the community, and we're going to make a large move, I hope, before summer into the community of Decatur. The story of the ministry that I'm most proud about is that, as you know, I'm, I'm in college Christian life, and I was walking to the back of the room one day, and some ladies had been back there knitting away, and I finally stopped and said, what are you guys knitting? And they said, prayer shawls. Now, I know it's a no-brainer, but I asked the silliest question, what's a prayer shawl? And they explained what it is all about. I liked it so well, I took it home with me. And I couldn't find any prayer shawls. I had a lady that was in hospice, and I felt that she could use a prayer shawl. And so we made one for her out of just some material. And the remarkable effect it had on her was so profound that I decided I needed to start a prayer shawl ministry within the church. And so I don't know how many we've done. I did not keep numbers or names, but I'm guessing we've done, we, we've, handed out between 175 to 200 prayer shawls. First it was for terminal people. Now we're handing them out to people who are ill, just ill. And unscientifically, we think that between 50 and 70 percent of those are still alive. Indeed, the first one I gave in our church to a terminal person beyond the lady that, uh, the first lady, let me restate that. The second lady I gave one was given, uh, she had stage four breast cancer. Eight years ago, she's still my lay leader at Wesley. She's healed. No no cancer in her at all. So that's, that's the thing I really... The only thing I can advise to help uh, new folks is just to go in and remember they're the servant not to be served. They're not there to be served. And that they just just love them. Love them and love them some more. And when they step on your toe, love them some more. Just continue that mission of love and it all works out. Well, I don't know if I can still say I'm still at, still at Wesley because <laughs> uh, I don't know what's going to happen in June but, or July. But uh, I'm, we're wanting to do some traveling. Indeed, we're going out to Washington State in August, um, work on our house, do some traveling, I already said that, and uh, work on my model railroad. Long neglected model railroad.